All right, next, to get this strut out and spring, I'm gonna take this loose, which requires a 17 inch, 17 millimeter. Then I'm gonna come down here to the bottom of the rear strut. And there's one on both sides. And this requires a 19. But before I remove that, that's all I need to do to lower this down so I could pull the strut out. But before I do that, I got a mounting um, suspension mount and also, it's upside down, but also a sway bar link. Since mine has been rattling, I tried to take it off a couple years ago, couldn't figure it out. And it has been rattling and loose ever since. But for the, it's two bolts. One on the top, one on the bottom, right there. Those take a 14, and I believe that is the same size for the sway bar links. One at the top, one at the bottom so I'm gonna take those off first before I remove the strap but before that I'm gonna give all these a squirt oh wow it's windy side oh and get these mounts up here and then the one down there all right so that's it now I got the sizes Put them on the edge of these and use the breaker bar and break them loose. Now, I did the other side, so I am confident that I can do this side, but it was quite the pain. Yeah, it was quite the pain doing so, so we'll be back after I get them off. It may be 30 minutes, it may be a day. The stuff doesn't just, it doesn't come off like it's supposed to. It's always always something happens. Always something, but we'll see.